After speaking to the European Parliament, the Pope addressed the Council of Europe. He was welcomed by Thornborn Yaglin, Secretary General of the Council, who thanked him for his visit and said he was an inspiration for the institution. Pope Francis gave a lengthy address in which he touched upon various themes. He reminded them that mutual service should inspire the work of the Council to promote human dignity. He also invited them to work for peace and denounced human and weapons trafficking, as well as religious terrorism. He also called on Europe to not forget its roots. Per camminare verso il futuro serve il passato, necessitano radici profonde e serve anche il coraggio di non nascondersi davanti al presente e alle sue sfide. Servono memoria, coraggio, sana e umana utopia. He also denounced the globalization of indifference and the growth of individualism in European societies. Una Europa un po' stanca, pessimista, che si sente cinta d'assedio dalle novità che provengano di altri continenti. All'Europa possiamo domandare, dov'è il tuo vigore? Dov'è quella tensione ideale che ha animato e reso grande la tua storia? Dov'è il tuo spirito di intrapendenza curiosa? Dov'è la tua sete di verità che hai finora comunicato al mondo con passione? The future of Europe, he continued, depended on their response to those questions. He also spoke on the current challenges facing Europe, multipolarity and transversality. The Pope explained that the continent is not a homogenous reality that destroys the cultural and religious originality of the people. His remarks on the benefits of intergenerational dialogue were welcomed with applause by the Assembly. Un'Europa che dialoghi solamente entro i gruppi chiusi di appartenenza rimane a metà strada. C'è bisogno dello spirito giovanile che accetti la sfida della trasversalità. Regarding the challenges facing youth, the Pope once again denounced the lack of employment. He also called on the Council to care for immigrants and the homeless. Concluding his address, Pope Francis expressed his hope that Europe would not forget its past in order to safeguard its future. Il mio augurio è che l'Europa, riscoprendo il suo patrimonio storico e la profondità delle sue radici, assumendo la sua viva molte polarità, e il fenomeno della trasversalità dialogante ritrovi quella giovinezza dello spirito che la resa feconda e grande. Grazie. The President of the Assembly, Anne Brassier, thanked the Pope for his commitment to those who suffer and his intervention at the Council.